Okay, this is me trying to make myself an olive oil lantern uh, in a rush. Let's say we just had a power cut, the sun setting. All I've got is like my wick at hand. I've got the wire. I'm going to use galvanized 1.2 millimeter steel wire. And I've got myself a jam jar. That's it. That's all I've got. Let's say the sun really is setting and this is um, getting scary, okay? The kind of length I want, basically about maybe two links of my finger there. That kind of length. Take out the blade, the pen knife. Okay. Okay, this is just a cheap 99p pen knife from the 99p stores. You can basically um, pick them up, put it somewhere safe for when you want to use it. Just winding up the rest of my wick. So I've got a tiny piece of wick there. Now I've got to think about the wire. I've got to think about the length I want to have it in the jar. Remember, the sun's setting. I'm running out of time. Just strengthening it with my, uh, sorry, straightening it with my fingers. I'm going to try and work out what depth I need. No matter what, I want to have a little bit sticking up over the edge of the top of the jar, so that I can use that as a handle to bend down, so I can lift, um, lift the wire up to light the wick. Okay. So that's the quantity I'll need vertically, and I'll need some extra distance uh, for the bottom coil. Okay, remember this is just like a, a cheap, quick fix. I'm not, um, you know, I haven't made, taken any real measurements. There's nothing rehearsed about this particular video at all. Okay, I think I've taken off a bit too much wire there. Too much can be good. Maybe I can use my nail clippers to clip the wire here. I don't know, just an experiment. Okay, I'm doing this as if it was actually happening. This is it. Not quite W-R-O-L, but maybe um, S-H-T-F, I think is the, is the phrase. Right, now, first thing I'm going to do is think about the coil at the bottom. And basically, we need to um, have something to wrap the wire around to try and create some little pinch on the wire. Now we're doing this very quickly. Um, how on earth am I supposed to do it? Can I just bend it with my fingers? Yes. This wire is soft enough for me to just about bend with my fingers. So far, whoops, here we go. I don't know whether this will work or not. Uh, still the hypothetical sun is setting. Okay, got myself one tiny little loop there. Can I make another one? Can I wrap this around something? Okay. Hmm. Right. Okay, the screwdriver that came with the pen knife. That will probably be ideal. Okay. So I've now got a twisted piece of metal. You might think to yourself, is this really useful? Bottom line is that's what we're going to try and make it into something which is really useful. Now, make a little loop at the bottom. That's all we need. Just a little loop at the bottom. Or a couple of little loops at the bottom to give yourself extra. Uh, I mean, it, this thing's got to sit on the bottom of your jam jar and have the coily bit sticking up. Alright, that's what you've got to have. That's all. That's all you really need. It's bending it with my fingers. Alright, so I've got myself a few coils there. I can open them up to make sure they fit into the bottom of the jam jar. And I can just slot it into place. Okay, that's that thing, that's that bit done. It's in there. I can lift it up, I can shove it back in, and I can bend this over. We're four minutes, ten minutes, sorry, four minutes and eleven seconds or fifteen seconds into the video. Um, that's how quick it is. Now we're gonna take a little bit of wick. Uh and now I'm just, I don't know whether you can see this, but as I say, I'm trying to do this as if it was genuine. This is the actual situation, sun setting. What am I gonna do here? Oh, God almighty, just turning this thing around inside the, uh, inside the wire to make sure the wick can come out the top. There we go. Right, now we just need to squeeze it so it can be held in place. Right. Right, I think we're actually in business. That's all you need, okay? A little bit of wick, 
try and get it bent so it's standing up right in place slide that into the hole my wick's standing up proud there that can be okay if I put lots of oil in but do I really want to put lots of oil in uh, maybe not so I'll just shove something in or I'll just put it out and squeeze this flatter okay okay so the wick will be sticking up above the oil's surface now there's only um, a few more things to do get oil pour the oil in until it's just uh, beneath um, the bit of coil on the wick and then set the, set it on fire you can lift the wick back up so so it's out of the jar set the tip on fire and shove it straight back in and if you want to extinguish your flame the thing to do is to take something long and just temp the wick straight back into the oil because that's the way of doing it without uh, making lots of smoke and vapor in the air so there you go made on camera live as if it was the actual situation in under seven minutes um, source of emergency light okay guys and girls the sun has now well and truly properly set we've got the same uh, same lantern here we've now got a bottle of olive oil and we can just put the two together the oil into the lamp we can try and light it and see if we can get some illumination from this very cheaply simply created SHTF lantern. I'm pouring the oil over the wick to make sure they get saturated. Okay, so we've just got like uh, half an inch there or thereabouts. Now remember this took what about six seven minutes to make and there we go that's that's it. So I'm just lifting up the wire on the light of the wick. Just the top of it. Okay, starting to catch. Okay, that's the flame. Go back into the oil. And hey presto, we've got a glow. Now if we can turn the main lights off, we can then see precisely how bright this is actually getting. Okay, now I don't know whether you can see that nice and as clearly as I can, but this is giving off a good glow, uh, and it works. It's perfect providing good illumination uh, you know in this room itself it's providing me with enough light to see by it's the ideal situation it's the ideal solution for um, an SHTF form of illumination and it's just olive oil a bit of lamp wick a bit of bent wire and a jar and that's all you need